everyone, welcome back to Obsessive Preparazy. Today, I'm gonna to make a quick little dessert to go in our sun oven. Now, I'm just doing the simple Louisiana cobbler's mix. I don't care what mix you make. It could be your own recipe, a package mix, but I'm showing you in a SHTF situation, a power grid down, or let's say you don't even care about any of that, you just wanna know how to cook in your solar sun oven. I'm gonna show you an easy recipe, a cobbler, so that you can get in your sun oven and cook, and then you can have a dessert after your meal. Now I'll leave a link below that I did a meal yesterday that I made in my sun oven that was so good. It was pork chops with a cream gravy, rice it turned out excellent so if you want to see a meal to make in your sun oven check that video out down below i have four tablespoons of melted butter in my dish here and uh, if it was an shtf situation you didn't want to use your microwave or heat go throw your cube of butter inside your solar sun oven and it will melt if you don't have butter a good thing to store is like ghee which takes all the fat out and it's shelf stable so anyways i've got my four tablespoons of butter here i'm going to go ahead and open up this package of louisiana cobbler mix and we're going to mix it with two-thirds cup of milk now let's say again shtf situation is upon us we have no electricity we have no milk take your stored carnation milk i don't care if it's carnation if it's kroger store-bought walmart brand keep some evaporated milk in your stores so in a situation like this if you wanted to cook something with milk also if you want to use powdered milk that would work great i don't normally store powdered milk i'd rather rotate my evaporated milk but a lot of people do use powdered milk and uh, use it on a daily basis I've just stored powdered milk and it seems to go bad for me because I don't use it that much and I use evaporated milk all the time so that's what I prep and store you do what works for you so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump this in see how simple that was milk we mixed it till it was smooth going to open up two cans of peaches I'm going to pour some of the juice out now in an SHTF situation you can only use one can of peaches I want the peaches and in that situation also you could always drink the peach juice but I'm going to get rid of all that extra juice and pour my peaches in and then all I'm gonna do is mix some of my batter in with my peaches. Now the only other thing I'm gonna do, because I always add sugar to everything, is mix just a little bit of brown sugar over the top. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of sprinkle of cinnamon. Okay, let's go get it in the sun oven. All right, my solar sun oven is at 325, so I don't imagine that it will cook any more than it need to cook any more than an hour. And I'm gonna go ahead and get it inside. Now it's 415 in the afternoon. You have to be careful in a sun oven because you can burn your fingers just as much with a solar sun oven because when you're talking 325, this metal that's inside here, your glass is hot. So we're gonna go ahead and get this clamp down and in an hour I'll come check it and uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be done. So about 4.15, it's about 5.15 it'll be done. Alrighty, it is 445. My temperature is at 275 and I just adjusted the oven to get the sun a little bit more. I'm looking good. 
So our dessert is completely done. It's been about an hour and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the sun oven so we can get it inside. You can take a look. How yummy is that? So we got our peach cobbler completely cooked. Let's have a taste of it. Ooh, hot. Mm. That is so good. Cooking with the solar sun oven is amazing. Use the sun's natural heat to cook something wonderful, a dessert or a meal. With a, with a cobbler, you could add cherry filling, apple filling, blueberry, and you can have a dessert easily made within an hour with your solar sun oven. And especially if the grid goes down, power outage, anything, you can feed your family. And that is the beauty about having a solar sun oven. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you don't have an oven, it's one of those things where you have to plan. It's an investment, but it's well worth the money. If you end up wanting to purchase one, I have some links below that will give you a discount on the sun oven. I just hope you all enjoy these videos learning how to cook with a solar sun oven. It is truly an amazing thing. I hope you all have a blessed day. If you wanna see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you wanna be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Have a blessed day.